Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are going to take a look at Power Automate Desktop with one of the example. And if you are already familiar with the Power Platform, if you are already working on the Power Automates or creating flows, then you might be aware that uh, there are two kinds of flows which can be created, the uh, cloud flows and the desktop flows. So right now, we are going to take a look at the desktop flows, which is our RPA version of the, I would say, flows. And uh, I'll be taking an example of uh, extract from one of the site and the site would be LinkedIn. So in one of my prior videos, I created uh, one video related to how to create a custom LinkedIn connector and extract the posts or activities for organization and save that into a SharePoint list. So basically the, uh, the, the prior video was using the app, using the client ID and the client secret created into the LinkedIn developers app environment and then uh, using that. So probably like uh, if your company doesn't allow uh, to have their login or create an app, any app into the LinkedIn, then probably you might have uh, find your way stuck. So probably this could be the uh, right answer today's video where you can just simply like create one the process, uh, automation process, which can extract of the data from LinkedIn and then save that into a file in Excel and save that into SharePoint. So that would be the actually scope of today's video. But in tomorrow's video or day after, like I'll be creating or I'll be having the same uh, flow, saving the data to the SharePoint list using the Power Automate desktop. So it will be RPA version of the automation. So there, there would not be any need of creating any app inside your corporate LinkedIn account. So you are just saved from, from that top. Uh, overhead or like uh, that bureaucratic communication. So let's have a look. So I'll just open my Power Automate desktop and over here, so I'll just create a new flow. And this flow, I'll just save that LinkedIn web extraction and I'll create it. So in this uh, video, we are going to actually work with the web extraction actions where we will be extracting the data from the UI elements and saving that into Excel so that we can save it for the further use. So I'll show you that. So the first step would be you have to go to this uh, left hand side and go to the browser automation. And in the browser automation, we'll just go to this web extraction. So these are the activities we are working on, we'll be working on. So before doing any extract data from a web page, we have to launch the actual site into the browser. So for that, you can search for launch into Microsoft Edge or Chrome, like wherever you have actually installed your extension. So you can use it. So I'm just using the Chrome and in initial URL, I'll be taking the URL of my site or my company's uh, page where all the posts would, would be listed. So over here, you can see I have this uh, two or three posts listed for my this company. So I'll use this URL and paste this URL into my initial URL and how you want to actually launch this. So you can simply say normal window maximize. So you can keep it as normal in the advance. It will ask for how much time you, uh, you should wait for the page to time out. So it's uh, 60, that means 60 seconds and on error, what error handling you want to do. So you can have a look like uh, if it, this fails, then the subsequent action should fail or like where it should go. So right now we are good. We will not be touching it. We are just done. And I'll just say, uh, save. So in the first step, we have launched our browser. And if I just run this, so you would see, so it will just open the browser and that open, it opens the, this post page of my LinkedIn. So this is the step number one. And if I close it and go back to my uh, pad Power Automate desktop, then I would be starting doing the actual extraction of my LinkedIn post from my company's page. So as I said, I'll just close it and I'll just go to the web extraction that is under browser, web data extraction. I'll scroll down and extract data from web page. So I'll drag and drop this one here as well, the browser instance, it takes from the previous tab as this browser, there's a variable which is being passed to this step and timeout, how much timeout it should be given. And in the store very uh, data is 
we can store into two data types that is variable or excel spreadsheet so variable would be of uh, the default type of uh, data table where uh, whatever you are extracting it will be saving that into a data table variable in excel spreadsheet it will create a row column structure so as i said like we'll be creating one excel file and save that in turn into sharepoint library so i'll be choosing that as excel spreadsheet and the instance produced is by default excel instance and before clicking save you have to actually go back to your browser so that this live helper where like uh, this extraction can happen can be launched so as soon as you go to your browser you will find this a little pop up where it will say is like uh, what data you want to extract so you can simply start extracting the data whatever you wish to so for example so right now in my post i am having this 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 uh, link so i can extract this i can right click on this and extract element and i can extract the value so it extracted that value if you see over here we have this first value as this link and the second value i may have the image url so i can extract that into as a second value but i'll just want to extract the let's say this div and in this div i'll just extract the text which is there into this div so this is how this is extracted so value one hash one is first variable value hash two is second variable so this is just done for one post one card so i can do that for another card as well so that it can smart enough to read out or to create the data table out of it so i can just simply click on as first value extract element value that is text and in the second so right now you see like it has binded automatically with this data table so it's having two columns and two rows and if you are done if you just want to capture these two things then you are good if you have like more things to capture image url and all that stuff then you can very well click on extract element value so i'm just clicking on finish so that i can go back to my this activity and where it is storing the stored data mode is excel spreadsheet and i'm just clicking on save so right now we just extracted the data now the next step would be saving that to one excel file so i have to find the save excel file action and drop that over here so that i can save this excel file so you can very well save that with a by default name or you can specify your own name so if i say like uh, the default from extension and document path it will ask for the existing path so you can simply give any existing path where it would be writing so you can create your own linkedin excel xls file and then set that path up so this is how you can save the file so once the file is saved you have to remember to close the file otherwise the other remaining file operation would not work so i need to search for the close excel action and do that and into this action we have to pass on that save document before closing so i'll just clicking on save so now like we are done we have extracted the data we have saved the data into excel file now the picture comes like where we want to upload the file or email the file so let's say like we are uploading that file into sharepoint so i'll just pick this sharepoint preview premium actions and we'll create the file so once uh, i will drag and drop it will ask me for the connection so if the connection is not there you have to establish this connection and then you can simply uh, create set your site url and then file name so i'll just choose my site url as this one and go back to my or automate desktop paste this in the folder path i'll click one of the library that is my library and i'll say file name as linkedin feed dot xlsx and the file content if you click on this you will find if i just simply say that excel instance and try to save it it will simply say that the file content must be a binary so before that we have to convert this file instance whichever we are getting into binary passing to sharepoint so i need to search the action as file to binary so that i can convert if excel into binary before saving that to sharepoint so i am just giving that file path so file path as 
we have saving the data to this books file and the binary data would be coming to this binary data as an output variable in this now i can change my this create file file con content to this new variable which is binary data rather than direct excel file so i can just select it and save this so i need to remove it because it appended to it I just select it and now i am saving it so now i have no errors everything looks good and i can just save my flow and can try to run it so the expectation is it will do the web scripting from the linkedin side and then save that into excel file and upload that excel file into sharepoint so let's run it so now it opened that browser and it has just opened that excel file where it has downloaded and we because we were closing that excel file it closed it and if we go back to our this thing so it is saying uh, status ready that means like it ran successfully and i can go back to my library to check whether the file is available or not so the file is available if i just open this file i am expecting the items or the post our LinkedIn site. So this is having this post. So first column is having links. The second column is having text. So we are good. We can, we have extracted the data of the LinkedIn from our Power Automate desktop in a automation way. So the next step, the next flow, which we are going to create into our next session is we will be saving this data, whatever is being exported to Excel into SharePoint into a SharePoint list so that our intranet site which actually wants to show that intranet or my company's linkedin post should able to display those posts from reading from a sharepoint list rather than excel file so that step i am going to do that into a next video so let's wait for that so that's it for today thank you